I'm Kiara, this is my 2019 GT86. It took me a while to find out what I actually wanted. After lots of soul searching, I came across this 86, but honestly, I think it's been the best choice I've ever made. Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza. Keep your adventure alive, because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars. I wanted to own a Japanese car from as far as I can remember. I grew up with my dad quite a lot, spent a lot of time with him on weekends and he was actually featured in 2005 Speed and Sound. I remember that being the coolest thing I've ever seen and he vowed he would get a family car. That family car ended up being a GC8. Uh, eventually years later I think it made 260 wheel kilowatts with me in the, the car seat in the car. So it's kind of just been a natural progression from there. So this one currently has 44,000 odd kilometers on. I bought it with 23, so it was demo-ish, second hand. It actually came bone stock from the previous owner. Obviously everything I've done to it has been me that's done everything to it. So it was really nice to have a clean slate. So the vision from the beginning was never to chase power. That wasn't ever a thing. It was actually just to build on what Toyota and Subaru had as a base, as a foundation, and to just upgrade it from there. So I've done Suspension modification, so from the stock suspension, it's actually now got Kony dampers and HR lowering springs. Feels much better on the road, it's not so hard, really absorbs those road impurities really much better than the stock suspension ever did. On our roads, it isn't the most favorable thing I would like to daily, but out on the open road, it feels fantastic. Aesthetically, I think that's probably the one of the biggest things I've done to the car. I imported the Maxton design kit from the UK, which is the front splitter, the side sills, and the rear spats. I really think it just encapsulates the car just much better lower down. Um, I think that's always something the car was missing. And then I also changed out the bullet aluminium stock wing with this very generic Toyota 86 wing that comes on the Limiteds. I was aware it was very generic, but that's always what drew me to these cars, just big, obnoxious, on the bonnet, I'm actually the third owner. It's an original Saabon bonnet. Really lucky to come across that. The TRD fender garnishes as well, also secondhand that I managed to find and buy. Performance-wise, the block and everything's completely stock, but I've changed the intake manifold, which is actually an OEM Toyota aluminium intake manifold. Other bits and pieces, I've done the Grimspeed air intake, which also I managed to find locally, was very lucky with that. I've done custom unequal length headers. These cars are quite raspy if you don't do things correctly. So it's got one resonator and two silencers and it meets at the back with 127 mil tips. I really wanted to round off the rear end just with something as obnoxious as the wing. So it really did tie in nicely, sounds fantastic. Tune wise, I got it tuned at RBTS Racing. Like I said, not pushing lots of power. It's done 111 wheel kilowatts now with the Ecutech tune. It was really overkill with what I needed it for, but I think it set a, a nice base if I wanted to do, to do anything further. But at the moment, the car's staying in a... I really wanted to keep it true to what it is. A fun, underpowered sports car. You know, fun at low speeds. So the interior I did want to match to the outside, you know, there was no point at looking all aesthetic on the outside and not on the inside. So I did replace the steering wheel with a Alcantara and carbon fiber uh, speed factory steering wheel. That's also paired with the two four point Sparco harnesses, which I've installed in the driver and passenger seat. The Sparco pedal set as well. And I really wanted to keep the Sparco theme. So it does have the Sparco toe strap as well. So at the moment, I feel like it is really rounded off. The only thing I would maybe change is obviously the wheels. Looking for original wheels somewhere. Um, but yeah, I would say that's really the, the only thing. Everything else has pretty much turned into everything I could have hoped for. 
So the happiest moments I've had with the car hasn't even been driving it. I really think it has just been meeting the people I've had the opportunity to meet. There's many, many a people that I wouldn't have met if I didn't have the car, uh, whether it's going to social events, going to performance shops, even just a simple greet on the highway. Honestly, that really does make my day. And even just interviews like this, it really, it's the most memorable moments, I think the most cherishable moments. And yes, I've got moments where I drive the car by myself and it's absolutely amazing. But at the end of the day, I think the car scene is about the community. And without that, there would be nothing else. Even through the harsh moments of things not always working out, uh, at the end of the day, there's no place I'd rather be than the journey I'm on with the car. Cars.coza. Not only is Cars.coza the best place to find your dream car, but it's also the easiest place to sell your current car. Check out the sell car section on our main website. Simply list your car's details and all of our dealers will take bids on your car. You just choose the highest price. Boom, your car's gone. On to your next one. Right, thanks very much for watching the video. Okay, uh, I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm finished now. Keep your adventure alive, because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars.